So now, nah, now nah, go ahead and explain it to me one more time while I'm being sent home. Okay, so it was a disagreement with a man trying to basically attack me and being very belligerent and hostile on the flow. And I said something about it. Actually, he stopped me while I was on the high low, pulled the button so I couldn't move my vehicle anymore, right? I don't know. I wasn't here. You wasn't here. So, okay. There was another individual who was here who seen it. It was several people who witnessed this. That'll be part of the investigation. I'm okay, sure. so I want to make sure this investigation is done properly. And then further, you asked me to question, you questioned me just a few seconds, a seconds ago, right? Saying, hey, what happened? So when I asked you to go ahead and explain it to you, why did you try to cut me off and then tell me because you don't want to hear it? Because you're going to pull your phone out. Right well, it doesn't matter because you already told me I was going home, so it doesn't matter if I pull my phone out. It does matter because you're not supposed to have it Well, on. it doesn't matter. You tell me I'm going home. Okay. So why are you Okay, so listen. This is what I'm saying because I'm able to explain myself you don't because I'm to able to defend to me. myself. That means you're trying to railroad me and you're not letting me try to explain or defend myself because you're trying to say I'm going to get rid of you in so many I words. I never said that. It's not my call to get rid of Okay, so let me ask you this. Dan. If somebody comes and approaches you in a de uh, attacking demeanor and stops you from operating on the work floor, what are you supposed to do? Contact the supervisor. All right. So was the supervisor contacted? I don't know. I wasn't here. But you got an email though, right? <laughs> yes. So what did it say in the email? That if you showed up, I was to send you home. Send an Why was I supposed to be sent home? I need an investigation. Okay. So who's doing the investigation? I don't know. So it's a lot of questions you don't know, but you're telling me that I'm getting reprimanded for something that I had nothing to do with. An individual came onto the floor from another chef, threw his clipboard on the vehicle that I was driving, going by him. He caused the scene, got angry, tried to fight me, got in my space after I told him several times to back away from me. And now you saying that... Is 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 my fault. I should be going home. Now, is this other individual going home? Did he was he sent home yesterday? I was not here. Okay, well I was here. He wasn't sent home yesterday. He stayed over for his shift. And he was the aggressor. So it sounds like a little favoritism here. And look, they go somebody beating on the window doing some nonsense. I want to catch this fool right here. Now, he over here right. beating on the window like he ain't got no sense. You're going to go home or not? Oh, yeah, I'm, cool. I'm definitely going home. But I'm, well, I want to make sure. To so now. I can't get explained? No, I need you to leave. Or I'm so gonna call why, security. why are you yeah. making it like it's an issue, Dan, when we just talking because about what's I going have on yesterday? To do. No, so it seems I like you're getting, to, you're getting you upset leave. like you was doing the other day when I told you I about that caution good. floor. You're getting pissed off. Here. I got jobs to do. Dan, it seemed like you're getting upset like you did yesterday. I'm getting upset. You is. That's why you keep walking off, Dan. But see, if you're a manager, you're supposed to be able to have the time enough to explain things with an employee, right? I don't need anything explained. It happened when you I was You just here. asked me just something a few seconds ask. ago. And now you don't want to explain it to me because hey, I'm asking you questions. Anthony? Anthony. Exactly. Now you want to call security on me for what reason? I'm to the warehouse. I got a distraught driver I'm trying to have leave. Exactly. He was already prepared for it. That's crazy. So you telling me, no, he was prepared. You're not listening. I said, how am I being disgruntled when you asked me a question just a few seconds ago? Then you talking about, I'm you've disgruntled. Already, you got a man over here beating on the back window like he crazy. You've already. And there's a door the other way. Hey, my man, is there a door in the front? You walk in it every day, don't you? Exactly. My point exactly. So why is this man beating on his back window like a, a belligerent fool you. because he's trying to cause a scene? You trying to spin a narrative. I'm you not, asked I'm me a not, question when you. you already knew you was planning on sending me home. And you knew I was going to want to explain myself, but you caused nonsense. That's why y'all are in a folded up position and a demeanor of, I don't care. I'm trying I'm to tune you out. Up position why are your arms crossed? Because I'm comfortable. No, you're not. You're really not. So you're telling me what I am. And exactly. What like you did yesterday. You told me the same thing. Okay. Exactly, bro. You're just killing. Hey, you know, it don't make no sense, Dan. If you don't like somebody, say you don't like them. I don't have an issue with you. You I do have, got an issue I with have me. an issue with your work. You did. You had an issue with me yesterday. And then when I told you to put that caution sign out and somebody could slip and you purposely didn't do it anyway, I did not have that, was a, uh, that was a violation right there. I did not right or wrong. An and I'm going to wait for your little security guy so you can go ahead and keep on coughing and an choking issue. and woofing up all that nonsense you're doing. I did not have an issue with you yesterday. You did have an issue. That's why you cussed me out. You got mad. You got pissed off. You told me to get off the thing. You started talking crazy. 
talking about you a little kid. I got to hold your hand and all the little insults you could think of. And now you want to call a reinforcement. It. He ain't even a police. I so I'm, I'm definitely not scared of none of that. I did not. And secondly, you know, you being very facetious and childish, you're using your power, trying to flex right now. To try to bully somebody. This is what somebody's I hate to disappoint hoarding you. power. I hate to disappoint you. Man, I have no this power. ain't no... Exactly. That's the whole thing I'm making. All I'm saying is I need you to leave the property. Yes, I heard you. And I'm getting so my point across. Are you going right? to leave? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But I'm still talking, right? Exactly. I'm done. So what, what are you doing? You ain't saying too much of nothing. You're a coward, bro. That's right. I mean, you already here. You might as well. I need you to exit out this way. Yeah, first. whatever, dude. I'm going this way. I'm, I'm going this way. I'm going go this way. I'm going this way. I'm going to keep on walking while I'm walking. Now, you such a coward, home. You put on for this whole little show. So let's go ahead and make it a real show. Since you want to have folks run to the back doors and, and back here, too. Do all this for your little energy, cause I seen you shaking the other day. You shaking like a little scribble. Okay. And I appreciate the money, cause I wasn't even stunting this job. Holmes said that the other day when he was like, "Oh, you know, I don't last too long at job." It's obvious you a coward, dude. Coward. You I'm is a coward. coward. Look at your demeanor. You a coward, bro. Yeah, you is a coward. You a coward, bro. That's why you set the play how you set the play. You a coward. And look, funny thing about it. I still get jobs, so it really don't matter. You just look like a coward, bro. I'm not a coward. I'm you is a coward. That's why you still harping on it. I'm not a coward. You are a coward. God, look. I'm a coward. I guess he know you're a coward too. Yeah, that's why you got your hand in your, in your pocket. You over there hiding your hand, throwing stones and hide your hand, bro. Why you take your hand out your pocket then? You so comfortable. And look, I'm still walking. You ain't gonna rush me. I mean, you must be rushing him. Oh, shit, and and you still spinning my narrative. Talk, we still yeah, walking walk where I wanted to walk to. We doing how I wanted to we how I wanted to do. Well, we gotta walk through the whole plan for no reason. Exactly, because I want to. Because this fool over here want to be a coward. Exactly. Good. You know why I want to make a scene? Because you made a scene yesterday. You wanted to put on and you wanted to show out. So I gotta get on you right. Hey, you know why I didn't say nothing to you yesterday? Because I was being a bigger man. And you was being a coward. You was trying to flex your little power, your little power. You was walking your little <laughs> my big wheel out here. I gotta show out because I'm a boss and you ain't even a boss, you don't own nothing. You put on for a company, you show out, dude. That's all you do. And I'm gonna make you feel like a real peon, because you is. Like this peon right here was beating on the window. He'll group me too. Pretty sure exactly what I said. I'm pretty sure Leon left already. Just ignore him. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, bro. I'm going I'm to get on anybody, bro. Get on whoever you want. Exactly. You see, I'm doing it as a parent. Like, you don't hear me saying it? And I'm doing it on camera, so I'm going to put it on the spin. Like, come on, bro. But you responded. You sound like an oxymoron. Yeah, put your head down because you feel stupid just then. You keep on talking, but I'm responding over here. I don't care about this job, bro. I thought you told me to go that way. I just, I just, I just proved that you ain't got no authority. Man, your old lady probably got more authority than you. You probably don't even wear the pants, bro. Like, for real. You less of a man, bro. Go ahead, put your head down. Don't even look nowhere. You ain't got no reason to look nowhere but look down because you a coward, bro. And it's going to be in your heart every day of your life until you tighten up. You'll sip. And boy, you going out back because you know that man dead wrong. You know what time it is. You can play. Hey, bro, you know it. You can play like you don't know what's up. All I got to do is escort. Hey, look, listen, listen. Let me ask you this. You don't be peeping game? I already know what's going on over here. I've been here seven years. Come on, bro. You don't peep game? Come on, bro. And hey, look, he need he need confidence. Go ahead, build his confidence up. Boost him up. Boost him up. Get him big. Get him, get him big. I don't care about none of that because you ain't about nothing, bro. Boost him up. Yeah. Apparently, it just changed this morning. He got him and another first employee. Make it sound right now. 
Now, I'm going to pause him. An individual came at me very facetiously and tried to attack me. I don't even care. I don't have to be quiet. Exactly. I was already gone. What does that mean? Exactly. What are you saying? Let's, let's do it mob. Let's mob it all. You see how this woman speaking to me? Talking about don't say nothing, be quiet. I'm a grown man. Shut up. Talk. Don't even reach for my phone, bro. If I'm gone, shut up. Stop talking to me. If I'm gone, shut up, stop talking to me. Is it if I'm gone, shut up, stop talking to me. You can't go live in the back. Bro, I don't care about none of that, bro. Sue me! Sue me! Sue me! It is my job to Sue me! What? I couldn't hear you? Sue me. Shut up talking to me. You see how she was speaking to me? Why didn't you tell her to stop talking to me like that? She told me to be quiet like that, right? Was that disrespectful? It was it disrespectful? Was it disrespectful? Was it disrespectful? Uh, please, I'm asking. Was it disrupting? All right, then stop talking. I told you shut up talking. All right, let me ask you this. Now, if somebody pull up on you, come on. Ah! Ain't disrupting. Come on, bro. Don't worry about home, boy. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Nah, 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 nah. I'm talking about hypothetically. If somebody run up on you while you driving on your high low, you know I'm gonna get on you. You better keep it moving, bro. No time is. I know, I know you're gonna nod your head. But like I said, hypothetically, right? So, if somebody run up on you, you ain't, you ain't gonna comment for the camera? He's scary, bro. He a coward too. Big man, bad body coward too. Shout out to Cat. Bye bye. You enjoy yourself. I ain't gonna get on you because you smile at me. Boy, you cap too, though, boy. You know, I know you cap. You high cap. Ask me what high cap is. You know you high cap, boy. Put you on blast. You gonna be on YouTube, too. Bro, if you don't stop rushing me like you somebody, I'm telling you, man, shut up talking to me, huh? I don't care about none of that, bro. And look, look, look. She come out with that wicked smile. She so happy. Oh, you know you so evil. You so happy, you so content. I see you happy. Your, your little joy so over. It only gonna last for a few seconds, girl. Ain't gonna be forever. You so lame. You look like a termite. You ugly old roach lady looking self. Like a whole roach, shouting. Exactly. But I just clowned you in front of your whole people, though. They gonna remember me clowning you. Ooh, I'm gonna get you. Come on, come on down. Boy, if you don't shut up talking to me, man, how many times I gotta tell you just shut up? Sir, do you have anything that you need to get? At home, man, please don't walk behind me. Please don't do that. Well, step to the side, bro. Step to the side, bro. Step to the side, bro. We don't move there. I don't care about none of that. Step to the side, bro. Don't walk behind me no more. You hear me? You comprehend? Come on. You see that? See all about authority? I'm, I'm to the side. You see how do you understand the concept of authority though? Let's and go. power? I ain't gotta do too much. I tell you step to the side, you're gonna step to the side, I'm right? To the side. Let's go. Exactly. Hey big man, come on, bro. You ain't wanna get right easy, man. Keep it moving, bro. That's fine. Step to the side, bro. Listen to your boss, man. That's go ahead, you're gonna do the right thing. No, I'm just gonna cut. Yeah. Go ahead. What are they gonna do? That's true. Nothing. 